currently looking at a 1968 Dodge Charger RT. All right, we're in a legitimate barn. I mean, there's steam tractors and John Deere's and old farm trucks and currently looking at a 1968 Dodge Charger RT, 440 car. And I'm gonna see if I can pop the hood. We did it once, oh yeah. Basically stock 440, untouched. Original blue car, very, very desirable. But no real options, manual, drum brakes, power steering, no air conditioning. As we walk through. Is this one that uh, final top car? Oh yeah. Blue car, blue interior. Full rally gauge cluster. Oh, it's a four-speed. I don't know if you can make out the four-speed hump down there. Oh man, that's cool. Oh, nice and close. And unfortunately, you had a little issue with a guardrail or something on this side and then surprise there's two more chargers in here one is a 68 318 car but fully loaded and then this is a 69 charger rt 440 car i'll add a picture of the we had to jimmy our way in to get to the engine compartment on that i'll post a picture of it here but here it's a 440 car it's also striped delete because it has the big old emblem on it we found a st john's medical center parking sticker and a little rusty in the back got a few dents and then the interior another fully loaded car with wood grain steering wheel, full rally dash, of course, automatic on the column, bucket seats. And then this one, it's a 68 318 car, but it's extremely well optioned. I'll see if I can pop the hood here in a minute. And unfortunately, we had an issue with a pack rat earlier. He may be back, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll see if I can get in here. Oh yeah, there's the famous 68 Charger taillights. And, uh, Charger RT. Let's see about this. There we go. And literally, at, when we got here, a pack rat jumped out of that hole and went down there. So we're not going to go down there. But it's a manual drum brake car, but it's got power steering, air conditioning, it's got cruise control, which is very rare. It's definitely a very well optioned car, to say the least. Very nice, very nice. I mean, he's got a few John Deere's in here as well. Very cool. These three chargers were definitely a surprise for our little band of explorers. We had not had any idea that they had existed. When we had gone to the property looking at a few other cars, he's like, oh, you want to see what's around back? And around the back of the barn, here were these three chargers. The two Charger RTs and the one 318 fully optioned one. It was definitely neat to see untouched time capsules. You know, unfortunately they are sitting in not the best conditions but you know they've been there for probably 20 30 years i'm not that worried about them there's no way to get them out right now without cutting down a few trees and moving a few trailers well i hope everyone enjoyed walking through that guy's private i guess lean to barn depends on where you are in the country in the, the south usually it's a barn in the north it's a lean to but uh can't believe that there was three second-gen chargers just sitting like that 
blew my mind. I mean, I my mind was blown before that because of what other cars were in the collection, but those were completely unexpected. And I was very appreciative of the owner for allowing me and my friends to go in and document the cars like we did. It was a really exciting adventure to say the least. If you guys liked this adventure, keep watching. There's going to be a lot more coming up on this page. And please share, like, and subscribe so that I can keep on doing this. I hope everyone stays safe and uh, try to stay out of trouble. Mm, ish. <laughs>